Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new, welcome to a new video. If this is your first time watching, my name is Dahlia, I am 22 years old, I am a newlywed and I work at Hermes in Belgium. A week ago I made a video with some styling tips from Hermes customers and those styling tips that I talked about were just some general things that I observed within the regular Hermes customers and I actually got a whole lot of positive reactions and comments and feedback from it as a whole which I'm very thankful for but as I was making notes I could actually categorize it into for example um, young Hermes customers versus old Hermes customers versus new money Hermes customers so I feel like it would be a lot of fun to make this a little series and it would be even interesting to maybe make the comparison between the old money and the new money type of customers so if you are interested in this kind of content make sure to subscribe and just like last time before we dive into it a quick disclaimer so I work at the Hermes boutique at the coast in Belgium I am very much aware of the fact that things could be different from country to country, from region to region, from culture to culture, but this is just my general opinion and observation from the location where I work. From my training, I have learned that the area where the shop is located is one of the most wealthy places in Belgium, which for me makes it fun and easy to observe and analyze. And this is by no means a guide or steps to take or steps to follow to dress a certain way, to look a certain way, to appear more expensive in some way. These are just some things that I observed and noticed and analyzed. And I just hope you find these things interesting and maybe get some inspiration from these. And let's dive into it. Let's get started with point number one. And that is that their watches are always super fun and colorful. So there are two types of more colorful watches that I see. First one is that they have a very basic gold colored or silver or rose gold colored um, like watch or clock on itself and then they would have a very bright leather wristband and whether it is a digital clock or an analog clock or a apple watch they usually really wear like a bright orange leather strap or a light blue leather strap or a red or even a pink so i've seen a lot of colorful leather watch straps and this is mainly with younger people and older people usually go for more muted colors like a dark red or a navy blue or a dark green but i can almost say that i never see people wearing a white band or a black leather band and as i also explained from my last video i think this is because they can afford more so they can have different styles and different colors and different leathers and stuff for different occasions and different seasons and different times of the year and again if you would be like middle class or not be able to afford a lot of these things you would rather pick a more neutral color that you can pair with everything that is very timeless and useful for like year round and all seasons and the second one is where they have a very basic chain watch with a colorful dial so i've seen a lot of rolexes like silver rolexes with a green or a light blue dial or even a hot pink one or a light pink one or I've seen orange dials as well and yeah it's just another way of expressing themselves and what mood they're in and what season we're in so the second thing that I have noticed lately and I've noticed it because it was really in your face but they love to wear the color combination of a bright or light blue and a very strong orange so I see a lot of for example, a light blue trench coat with a bright orange t-shirt underneath or, or a blue sweater with an orange watch or they are wearing some colorful sneakers with blue and orange or they have a stack of Hermes clicks with like orange and a bright blue or light blue color and maybe it is because it's not a very common or commonly used 
combination and the combination of these two strong colors have some kind of um, daring and powerful atmosphere to it and energy to it so I think that's why they like to do it because because they can and they like to be unpredictable and come across very confident and powerful in some way so the third thing I want to talk about is something I believe we can all learn from as women I have noticed that every time they wear heels that they usually have two things in common but so the first thing they have in common is that it's never a high heel but rather a very low kitten heel or like a medium kind of heel and the second thing the heels they wear always have in common is that they never cut off the leg so the shoes either have an ankle strap but they are a more nude color that is close to their skin tone or it is a black or white or a more contrasting color but then it has no ankle strap which makes it look more like a mule or a pump but this really elongates the leg so for example if you are wearing black heeled sandals and you have a very thick ankle strap you can clearly see that there is where your leg ends while if you don't have an ankle strap and just something around like the end of your foot so your toes maybe it does give the impression of you having longer legs and even slimmer legs in some way and then the fifth and last thing that I noticed and want to talk about is that they usually don't match the brands of their accessories. So for example, they could wear um, 10 Hermes Oran sandals with a Chanel Classic flap or they could wear a Fendi baguette shoulder bag with some Chanel dad sandals or they would wear Laura Piana shoes with a Birkin bag so they usually don't match their brands and even if they do they make sure that it's not from the same line or the same collection for example they usually, and I know that we do see this a lot on social media, so they usually don't wear a pink Kelly bag with silver hardware, with a pink Kelly belt with silver hardware, or they would not wear a black Chanel classic flap with deep padded black Chanel dead sandals, if you know what I mean, because it is too matchy and I always see this as, so for example, you just bought your dream house, you just bought a house, and you go to Ikea to get some furniture and you just get the whole entire mom series so from that mom collection you have the bed and the nightstands and the drawers and whatever else there is within that collection in the same color, in the same finish it just looks like you went to Ikea you had no inspiration or vision at all and you were just like let's get some basic things and throw it in there i just i don't really care and i think if you continue that line within fashion if you would wear the whole entire kelly collection for example so if you'd wear a kelly bag with a kelly belt and then like the double kelly bracelet and then i can't remember the name but those loafer mules from Hermes with also like the Kelly clasp on it and all in the same color and the same leather and the same finish it would just look like you don't have a distinguished style and you're not able to pick your own things and combine them together but you would rather just get whatever matches within the same collection and the same colors and the same finishes and the same leathers used it comes across in a way that you are not very stylish or capable to make your own decisions and combinations if you understand what I mean and in some way it could also come across as if you are a very big fan and I do however notice that within the new money category of costumers that they wear a whole Celine Triumph outfit with everything being Celine Triumph. It does really come across as if there is no real um, personality within your outfit. And it also comes across as if you are playing within the rules too much. If you are still watching, I have a little bonus one for you. Something that I've noticed within the regular costumers, especially if they wear an Hermes bag, is that they don't just wear an Hermes bag. They wear a bag 
with a twilly or two twillies or even three twillies and a leather charm or even two or even three maybe it is in some way showing off but it's also not playing by the rules not really caring about the rules and as we know wearing an Hermes bag does not just mean hey I bought a very expensive bag but it also means hey I bought a very expensive bag and I played the game and I waited for a long time probably so adding little things on top of that knowing that a Twilly cost around 180 and a rodeo charm is around three or four hundred I believe makes you also able to say hey I bought an expensive bag I waited for a long time I was on the wish list and got contacted I played the game and probably overspent on a lot of other things before I was offered a bag and I even spiced up my bag with a whole lot of other expensive accessories just something that I've noticed something that I think is fun and I would love to get myself a rodeo charm in different colors I would love a tan one and a black one and a green one I really love them and I love the combinations that they make with the colors so yeah we just arrived at the end of the video I would love to thank you for watching and if you did like it don't forget to show your support and if you would like to see more of this type of content there is a lot coming your way so make sure you are subscribed and I will see you soon